advice. Uh, I know that in Finland we start very early uh, with uh, training for educa driving education. Maybe you could give us some useful advice uh, with your experience as an organization or as uh, a country. What should we do with young children in order to be trained about uh, a culture and use some culture and education for driving? Um, yeah, like you said, uh, probably racing is more more safer than uh, than driving on the roads. Uh, um, truly, we have okay, we have very good safety. The road cars have very good safety, but there's a much more people, and uh, they don't respect the rules as well as we do on the racing circuit. So it's an unfortunate thing. Uh, in Finland, I don't know if we start any earlier uh, driving. Uh, and practicing, but uh, definitely we have quite a quite a tricky conditions there often on the winter, especially. So the people get kind of more used, and they are they they are probably a bit more uh, careful on beginning, especially because it's very slippery and very difficult. So there's a good we have and driving and starting at younger age. Uh, um, maybe maybe. Maybe some sort of school for, for before you go in the uh, in the uh, driving lesson or driving school and, uh, to help people to get used to it and respect uh, maybe to get better understanding of the safety and uh, the driving situation of it and uh, and also the the risk what is involved so maybe they would take care of more but uh, I I don't really have a good good idea what what should happen. So. Thank you very much. We have a Thank you very much. Thank you very much. everybody to the special point on the occasion of the European Youth Conference on Road Safety. With us this afternoon, Commission Vice President Antonio Tajani, responsible for transport policy. The Formula uh, One World Champion, Mr. Kimi Reikon, as well as um, representatives of um, road safety activities, notably Mr. Floyd Lieshout, a young road safety activist from the Netherlands, uh, and representatives both from the Belgian firefighters and from the Italian road police who regularly have to intervene in road accidents. I think uh, it's, it's not for the young ones, it's for everybody, first of all. And if you respect the rules, uh, use the safety belt uh, is, is the first step. But of course, um, I said there's so many things that can happen in, in the normal, normal roads uh, that you don't expect. You should be always ready for anything because you can easily drive normally and end up in an accident because it's not even uh, your fault. But of course, uh, there's so many other people driving. If everybody would uh, respect the rules to everything right, like, then we would have accidents, but that's, uh, that's probably never going to happen, unfortunately. So that's the first, first uh, really, really step, and uh, hopefully we can reduce the accidents or something. Thank you. Any further questions? Uh, thank you very much for being here with us uh, today, and uh, have a nice and uh, Hopefully first and foremost, safe day. Thank you very much. Commissioner, please. Commissioner, please. Commissioner. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Where is he? I don't see the <laughs>
<laughs> Vicky, can you open a window? Can you open a window? 